Hi everyone, this is Paul and I'm going to give you a quick tour of BuzzStream's project capabilities. Projects give you a dedicated workspace where you can manage a set of contacts, articles, links, and monitors. They also provide you with a way to limit access among your team mem members to only the projects they're assigned to. So for an agency, you might have a project for each of your clients. And for an in-house marketing group, you might have a project for each of your products, or you might have a project for each of the agencies you work with. So let's take a quick look. Let's start by looking at how you configure projects. We'll click on the Settings tab and go to Projects. Now when you first set up projects or enable projects, a default project named after your group ID is set up, in this case Agency X. Now everything that you've already configured will be added to this project. You can also add new projects by clicking on the Add Project button. Let's go ahead and look at the BuzzStream project and see how it was configured. So in this case I created one named BuzzStream. I de defined who could have access among our team to this project. If I'm using the link management capabilities in BuzzStream I can add my websites and BuzzStream will keep track of whether or not I have links from certain pages. And I can use brand associations if I'm using the monitoring to identify brand mentions. Let's go ahead and look in the PR and social media side and look at projects in action. So right now I'm in the All Projects view. In a second we'll change to a specific project, but let's start by searching on a user. I'm searching on Gizmodo, and Matt Buchanan, one of the writers for Gizmodo, shows up. Now as you can see, he's associated right now with three projects. Google Wave, Apple iPhone, and iPhone Dialer app. Let's go ahead and change right now to Google Wave for starters. So Matt Buchanan is likely going to be slightly less relevant for Google Wave than he would be for a product like the iPhone since he writes primarily about gadgets. So let's look at his contact record for Google Wave. So some of the information in a contact record is associated with the contact and some of it is associated with the project. The metrics and the contact information follow Matt Buchanan regardless of which project he's associated with. But the assigned to, the rating, the articles, and the notes are specific to each project. So in this case, for Google Wave, he's assigned to the user named Company Manager. The influencer rating is set to medium, and only one article has, has been saved to this project. If I click over to Apple iPhone, You can see that he's assigned to a different user, senior staff member. The influence rating is set to very high. And a number of articles about mobile applications and cell phones have been saved. Now, as far as the history, the communication history, you can view the communications history just for a specific project, or I can view it for all projects. So in this case, let's say I'm getting ready to brief Matt Buchanan. I can see that I briefed him previously and had an excellent briefing about the App Store. But I also would like to see the All Projects view because it's important to note that for a different project, the intern reached out to him in a way that probably isn't going to put our best foot forward and I may need to act on that. Now adding contacts to projects is easy. In fact, it's easy to add a contact to multiple projects if they're applicable to multiple. Let's take a look at this. We'll go ahead and click on Monitoring. Let's go ahead and click over to the BuzzStream project. And we'll change over to the search on the term blogger relations. Now if somebody's writing about blogger relations, that's somebody that's likely going to be quite relevant to BuzzStream. Let's go ahead and scroll down. And let's say I find this one that's relevant to the BuzzStream project. I'll go ahead and click Add Contact and kick off the buzz marker. I'll go ahead and add Colin Delaney to BuzzStream. And then I'll copy this to another project. Now I have a choice here. I'm going to go ahead and copy it to the HubSpot project. I can copy the person, media outlet, and the article to the HubSpot project. Or I can choose just to copy the person and media outlet. I'm going to copy just the person and media outlet in this case. Let's go ahead and save it. When I go back in, I'll see Colin Delaney associated with the BuzzStream project. I'll go ahead and set the influence rating to very high. There's the article. 
and I'll also see this contact over in the HubSpot project but without the article attached. When I create a new project I can also move contacts in mass to that new project. So let's go ahead and go to the All Projects view. We'll clear the filters. Let's go ahead and filter on a tag. Let's say I add a new project focused on social media. At that point I can click the copy link and that will take all of these contacts and copy it to any project I like. If I'm going from a, a specific project as opposed to the All Projects view I can also choose to move all those contacts. So it'll take all contacts, move it into another project, and I'm good to go. So that about covers it. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us at support at buzzstream.com.